Welcome to our tour here at Sacred Heart University. My name is Rob Gilmore. I'm the Director of Campus Experience in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. And we're going to start our tour here today at Curtis Hall. This is a home for the Undergraduate Admissions Office as well as the Office of Student Financial Assistance. This is where your journey at Sacred Heart begins. This is where you become a pioneer. Now let's take off and see the rest of the campus. Here we are in Merton and Seton Halls. These are two of our main freshman residence halls on campus, right in the heart of our campus, actually. Uh, they house uh, both double and triple accommodations. Uh, each room has a bed per student, as well as a dresser per student, a stand-up wardrobe, and also a micro fridge, which is included in the room. Uh, the halls themselves are um, housed with a resident hall director, which oversees the building, and multiple RSAs, or what you may know as RAs. These are resident success assistants. These are student leaders that are uh, tasked with providing leadership to our uh, students inside the residence halls. And that's something that uh, we take very uh, seriously here to make sure the students have connections, especially in the freshman year, uh, with upperclassmen students. This is uh, a style that uh, was developed by the University in 1994 when these buildings opened and one cool fact about our on-campus facilities all of our on-campus residence halls are air conditioned so these are uh, available for like I said freshman students uh, for all of our residence halls you can log on to our residential life page at sacredheart.edu to view virtual tours of each of the halls that we have on campus we're currently in the main academic building here on the campus of Sacred Heart University, which takes up the bulk of our main campus. And this building is actually divided up into three areas, the Science Wing, the Humanities Wing, and the University Commons. SHU. So that's something that uh, you can look forward to in finding where most of your classes may be held during your freshman years here at Sacred Heart. So let's talk about how to eat on campus. Here we are in 63's Dining Hall, and this is one of our three main dining halls that we offer. When you come to Sacred Heart, you're gonna get a shoe card. That's your ID, that is your room key, that is also your meal plan card. And your meal plans here, all of our freshman students will have the big red meal plan. And that offers both dining dollars as well as swipes. This is where you use your swipes. You'll be able to come in, swipe in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and you'll be able to eat a variety of options. This uh, dining hall offers several different areas of eating each day between pasta and salad stations to pizza stations to fresh made to order to healthy options to gluten free options. Anything that you may need you'll find not only in this dining hall but throughout our dining halls on campus. This option is open for the majority of the day for our students to use. There's a lot that you can choose to eat here at Sacred Heart. As you can tell by me, the food is great. Welcome to the Ederson Center Plaza. This is the epicenter of how to get involved on campus, the gateway for many different options of involvement. Whether or not you want to get involved with a club organization, Greek life, student government, uh, volunteer programs, or one of our foreign performing arts areas, this is where you're going to really base yourself out of. Uh, inside over here we have our Holly Lounge, which is the home for student life and student activities, as well as student government and Greek life. The Edgerton Center for the Performing Arts is a 776 seat theater which houses our performing arts programs. A variety of options within theater arts, dance, choral, and band and orchestra. Adjacent to our campus are a few buildings. And the first one we want to talk about is the Sheila Hamilton Student Success Center. This is a building that is specifically designed to help our students achieve their academic potential. So whether you're coming in and need assistance in your transition as a freshman or as a transfer, or need assistance with testing or accommodations in the classroom, this is a facility that will be used for you. To learn more about our student success, please visit our website at www.sacredheart.edu. Directly right across from our campus is the official residence for the president of Sacred Heart University, Dr. John Patillo. This is what we lovingly call the Pres Res. Uh, the president, uh, from time to time, will host students in the residence for receptions and dinners as an opportunity to engage with the student community a lot more uh, on campus at Sacred Heart University. Here we are again right across the street from our campus at the Maureen Hamilton Wellness Center. This is the home for our health and wellness areas of the university as well as our counseling center. All full-time undergraduate students are required to have health insurance and you can either have your own provider's insurance or you can use the universities. That is information that you'll get once you deposit and become a pioneer. If you ever need to use the services of our Health and Wellness Center for illness or for counseling, please note that our staff is able to handle any and all situations, and all of our counseling sessions here are confidential. Welcome to Roncalli Hall. This is one of our other freshman residence halls here on campus. This is a 10-story high-rise that features modified suite-style living. This is also home to our freshman living learning communities in Welsh College of Business, 
gaming and technology, shoe well, and community and justice. To learn more about our living learning communities, you can visit our website at www.sacredheart.edu. Fun fact about Roncalli Hall, if you're on the 10th floor, you have a bird's eye view of Long Island Sound. We call that the penthouse. One of our newest facilities on our campus here at Sacred Heart is the WSHU building. This houses the WSHU Public Radio 91.1 here in Connecticut. That is an NPR affiliated radio station. Also housed in this facility is the Department of Public Safety. Operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week, our Department of Public Safety is tasked with protecting our faculty, staff, and of course, and most importantly, our students. We have many different options for safety on campus, including swipe entrances into our residence halls. We also have patrols on campus. We also have Fairfield Police that are also on campus on a daily basis. We have provided our students with a safe environment to learn and to live here at Sacred Heart. What does every college need? More parking. Guess what's coming in 2020? A brand new parking garage. I mean, right now it's actually a pile of dirt, but it's coming, a new parking garage for our faculty, staff, and students to use. We can't wait till it opens. We're now at Bergoglio Hall. This is named for Jorge Bergoglio, the birth name of Pope Francis. We were one of the first colleges in the United States to name a building after Pope Francis on their campus, so we take that very proudly. This is an underclassman residence hall, and it is what we call pod style. So it is a double conjoined with a bathroom and another double, two doubles to one bathroom. These are beautiful areas for our students to live in and it provides a lot of space for our students to both relax and study as well as communicate with each other, uh, which is our philosophy here for our students to have the best living experience that they can. Let's go take a look inside. Welcome to the Martiri Center for the Liberal Arts. This is home to the College of Arts and Sciences as well as the School of Communication, Media and the Arts. Now just because it's home to those areas doesn't mean you may be taking classes here if you're a business major or a nursing major. This is one of the newest academic facilities that we have on campus which opened in 2015 featuring state-of-the-art classroom space, areas for production for our communications majors, as well as an Einstein's Bagels this building features some of the nicest areas on our campus for you to both study and to learn more about the university and yourself. This is just one of the examples of the classroom space here in the Martiri Center for the Liberal Arts. This offers an opportunity for our students to work in small groups as well as use technology in their everyday learning. This is called a teal room. This is just one of the examples of how Sacred Heart is innovative in the way of classroom instruction and technology for our students to use while educating themselves in their major. One of the things that is remarkable about Sacred Heart University's approach to academics is our small student to teacher ratio and classroom sizes. Our student teacher ratio is 13 to 1 with an average class size of 22 students. This allows for our students to interact with faculty on a daily basis in a more personable way. One of the other awesome things about Sacred Heart Academics is the ability to use the global classroom as a student here. Sacred Heart offers an amazing study abroad program. We own two campuses in Europe, one is in Luxembourg, the other one is in Dingle, Ireland. But we also have over 60 different options for study abroad across the globe. This is the Ryan Matura Library. This is the academic center of our campus. Students will be able to find tons of resources in here, both online and in person. We also have a wide variety of study area options within this facility that our students can use. And this library wouldn't be complete without a Starbucks cafe. This is the Chapel of the Holy Spirit here on the campus of the University. This is the spiritual center for the University's community. Opened in 2009, it features a 500 seat main sanctuary and a 50 seat smaller daily chapel. We offer daily masses at 12.30, Monday through Friday, and we also have Sunday masses at 12 noon and 7 p.m. The main center point of this chapel is the beautiful mosaic that's featured behind me. And that was designed by the famous Jesuit artist, Father Marco Ivan Rupnik. He was the personal artist to Pope John Paul II. It took a team of 15 Italian artists two weeks to put this mosaic together, and it is really the epicenter of what makes this space so beautiful. This is a space that is open for our students on a daily basis to come and reflect and to pray, or just to relax and take a breath. The Chapel of the Holy Spirit celebrates its 10th year this year, and it is something that is very important to the identity of what Sacred Heart University means, not only to our students and faculty and staff, but to the surrounding community.
One of the newest areas of campus is the Upper Quad, and this is going to be an expansive project for the university over the next couple years as we open up new residential facilities. The first building that opened on this property was Toussaint Hall, which is home to our honors program for our first year students. The next two buildings just opened in January of 2020. These facilities feature suite style accommodations for our students and are some of the nicest facilities that we have on our campus. And this shows our commitment to our students living engagements while they're here at Sacred Heart. Also on this property, as you can see, is an expansive amphitheater, which our students can use on a daily basis to congregate and to enjoy each other's company, as well as our faculty hosting outdoor classes when the weather is nice. Here in Lindemann Main Commons, one of our other main dining halls is Linda's Cafe. This is a food court style dining hall that features several options for our students to choose from, including Build, which is pizzas and quesadillas. We also have Crisp, which is made to order salads. We have a rotating station called Innovation Kitchen, which changes every two weeks. We have BYOB, which is build your own breakfast, and you are able to have breakfast options here all day long. You're gonna be able to use this as your dining dollars, and as you purchase here, those dining dollars will be taken off of your meal card. This is one of the more popular options for our students because they are able to eat and go. One of the other things that's really awesome about the dining options at Sacred Heart is our dining company, Shoe Dining, a subsidiary of Chartwells, uses what we call Boost Mobile Ordering, where you're able to use an app or your computer to order your meals uh, in ahead of time and say that you're getting out of class, you want to come here and have something quick to eat, order it, 15 minutes later you just come by and pick it up. No waiting in lines, nothing. You're able to use your card to put in your information and you're ready to go. So the opportunities for dining on campus are tremendous. Also housed in the Linda McMahon Commons building is our Center for Career and Professional Development. One of the things that's important to us here at Sacred Heart is that as you come in as a first year student that you are able to get ready for your career options right off the bat. And coming and using our services here in the Center for Career and Professional Development will highlight some of the opportunities that you can start planning for as a first year student. Don't wait until junior or senior year to start thinking about the next steps, whether it's graduate school or employment. That process begins freshman year. And our staff here in the Center for Career and Professional Development are willing to assist you all four years. We boast a 98% full-time graduate school placement or employment placement rating within the first year of graduation. And that's because you have the ability to use our services all four years. One of the main components of our career services here at Sacred Heart is Handshake. This is our online database system for our students to highlight some of their career options, look for internships, as well as discuss opportunities with employers around the country. There are, at any given time, certain amount of job and internship opportunities that are available for our students to use during their four years here. One of the things that you'll be able to walk away with with a experience at Sacred Heart is the ability to have your next step planned out for you. And that starts here at the Center for Career and Professional Development. On the first floor of the Linda McMahon Commons building is our Sacred Heart University bookstore, featuring options for all your shoe, clothing, and apparel needs, as well as the one-stop shop for your books for class and any educational materials that you may need. Please visit our website for more information on how to use the services of our bookstore at Sacred Heart University. This is JP's Diner. This is our third main dining hall on campus. Named after our President John Patillo, JP's is a traditional 50 style New Jersey's diner, which features classic diner favorites all the way down to the milkshakes and even the Taylor ham sandwiches. We also have a wide variety of late night options here until 3 a.m. on the weekends. So this is something that you can look forward to. How many schools have their own diner? Sacred Heart does. This is the Bobby Valentine Health and Recreation Center. Named for Bobby Valentine, former player coach in Major League Baseball, as well as our current Executive Director of Athletics, this facility boasts over 60,000 square feet of state-of-the-art workout space, including a rock climbing wall, bowling alleys, simulated game room for golf, spinning studios, yoga studios, and much more. The highlight of this is a suspended track which goes around the circumference of the building. And this is an excellent way to show that our school is committed to our students' health and wellness. Let's go check it out. There's no better way to show off your pioneer pride than coming here to Campus Field to support our Division I and club sport athletic teams. This is the really the center of our athletic 
pride here on campus. And on a given Saturday for lacrosse, for football, this is a place that goes bananas. We love our pioneers. We're gonna end our tour here today at the William H. Pitt Athletic and Convocation Center. One of the things that best represents who we are here at Sacred Heart University is the fact that we're pioneers. That is our name, that is our passion. And the biggest pioneer on campus is Big Red the Pioneer. So on behalf of all of us here at Sacred Heart University, we thank you for joining us for our campus tour, and we hope that you'll be able to call yourself a pioneer in the near future. Next time you're on campus, make sure that you stop by and rub Big Red's head for good luck in your process here of coming to Sacred Heart.